as you see, this river is quite big. Uh, when it's flooded, nobody can cross. And uh, we've already lost so many people. I still remember uh, one of the students, she was writing the grade 12 exams, but uh, the river was flooded and she decided because she rushed to go and write the exams. She just crossed, but she drowned. She died on this river. It's a community that's split by a river. So when this group of Austrian engineering students and engineers engaged with this community at some time and sort of said to them, hey, do you guys need anything? They turned around and said, you know, we need a bridge. My name is Nonle Mutuma. Uh, I'm born and bred uh, here at Komadiba, and uh, we are very proud of our environment. And uh, since the bridge was being built here, we are so privileged. It was like a gift for us because we were struggling for so many years to cross this river. But once the bridge was being built, uh, our lives was so easy. The beauty of a project like, like Bridging Mzamba shows how something that response to so many needs can be handled by such a simple gesture. The bridge is very beautiful in itself, but also made of such simple components. Every single piece of that bridge can be carried by a single person. Um, the components are incredibly small and light. The degree to which this bridge has been adopted by the community is profound. A project like this is very clear in how it's embedded in society, how it's adopted by the people, how it's appreciated, and the difference it's made to those people is, is extraordinary. Mm -hmm. 